Hey guys, it's your buddy, your pal, it is the IT Collector, and today is a special episode because we have the Mandalorian Pulse Blaster Rifle. Um, it just arrived, so I want to put up this review real quick. Um, it's pretty big, so don't worry, I'm going to take it out of the box and show you all the details and everything. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, it is a Nerf uh, rifle, if you're not uh, aware about it. Um, it costs around 125 bucks, depending where you get it. And um, I'm pretty anxious to open it up and take a look. The box itself is about four feet uh, long, a little over that, so um, should be pretty awesome. So we're gonna take a closer look, but you know what? I gotta get into character, cause this is the way. Now let's take a look. All right, so here is the box. So like I said, it's about uh, four feet long, has a nice picture of Mando on there, and the official name of this um, rifle is the Amban Phase Pulse Blaster, as you can see uh, right there. And you can see the nice little artwork, um, that rhino type uh, creature back there, and the, you know, the two there, and you can see Mando here, and you see uh, several uh, stormtroopers. Um, if you can get a better look right there, so kind of interesting, nothing special, but uh, not bad for a good box. Um, don't forget, this is a Nerf, so you see that uh, limited Nerf edition right there. So let's put this over and let's see what other details we have here. So once we flip over the box, we have the, the a drawing or outline of the rifle and it basically uh, shows you the, the length of it which is um, 50 inch point 50.25 inches 1.27 meters um, and then it tells you here the showing the breech loading and then uh, the ele electronic scope with the illuminated lens and it has different languages for that Forked ion bayonet um, is what the it's showing there at the end, and then over there you can see it, it shows that it comes with ten uh, bullets, if you will, or Nerf darts to be more uh, realistic. But yeah, and then you can see the the nice detail they did on the the language they put here um, to make it you know more authentic Star Wars ish. So that's kind of cool. And now. Let's open it up and see what we got. So, once we open it, there you are. And you have a picture of Mando, or artwork of uh, Mando holding the, the rifle. And then uh, the nice Mandalorian logo. And it says, the Mandalorian is battle-worn and tight-lipped. A formidable bounty hunter in an increasingly dangerous galaxy. And then it just has it in uh, different languages there. Um, and then uh, you can see it has the instructions and the rifle is right behind there. So let's see if we can get a closer look at everything. All right, so take out the instructions. I already cut this part of the cardboard. So we can pull this guy out. Um, I believe we can take it out of here without sliding it out. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I don't want to rip anything, so I did cut the tape earlier. So let's see if we can get it out. Yeah, that seems a, a lot easier. Okay, now that we got it uh, out of the box, let's get it out of this, this plastic, and there we go. 
So I popped it out and let's do a nice once over. You can see the wood color stock. Of course, everything here is plastic. Uh, triggers red. This is the breech part, which I'll show you in a little bit more detail. Um, you can see they added this nice gold inlay, I guess, if you will. Here's the button for the sight. And it's nice and long. And there is the, the end, the bayonet part, if you will. Um, and then if you notice, it did say Star Wars on this side. Let me flip it over. And on this side, it says Nerf. Um, so you can see it has uh, this gold here and it matches on the same side. Um, if you're right-handed, um, this is how you would be holding it, facing it this way. And then it's uh, basically the same thing all the way to, to the, the end there, the bayonet. So first things first, uh, when you get it out of the box, you need to add two AA batteries, which are right here, simple screw, pop those in. So once you place the, the batteries in there, um, then let me show you how this works. So it actually does come with uh, darts, 10 of them. It's kind of odd. This is the way it came, folded up in the, uh, one of the, the beginning or entrance of the, the box on one of the sides of uh, when you open the box. Um, and each dart is, of course, foam. Uh, I guess good thing they didn't do orange or anything like that. That would kind of look weak, but they did a nice gray. So it's a little bit of a rubber on the, the tip and then a nice regular foam on the outside. So <clears throat> the way this works, and uh, this is electronic, so it has uh, sounds and everything. So let's see if I can, I just got this, so I gotta figure this out. So I believe once you pull this uh, breech forward or this uh, slide, if you will, we're talking like uh, real guns then you it opens up uh, the action or the breach here and then uh, that's where you would enter in the dart so you grab the dart put it right in this hole oh sorry put it right in the hole pretty much nice and, nice and snug then that goes in there and then pull it back till it locks and then you can uh, aim and fire. So let me just fire into here so I don't lose the dart. And there you go. So you heard it uh, made a sound. Let me do that all over again. Pull the slide forward. It pops open the breech. We uh, put in a round, let's say. Close it. Pull back the breech so it's nice and locked. And then listen to the sound once you uh, pull the trigger. So that was it shooting. Um, so pretty, uh, pretty cool. It's like a, similar to like a real gun, I guess. Um, and then uh, let's see about um, the actual sight. Um, so let's take a closer look at that. So here we are, we're gonna do all this again, but from the top. But first thing I wanna show you is this button right here uh, illuminates the sight. I don't know if you saw that. Let me um, try to get this right in the lens as best as I can. See that red light? And there you go. There's like a crosshair in there or a cross on the plastic. Um, looking through it, unless I'm doing something wrong, it's not actual usable. You can't really see anything, it's blurry, but it's basically point and shoot. But let's go through the action again. So you want to pull the breech forward, like that, or the slide forward, and then you end up putting in a dart. And honestly, the dart only goes about uh, 10 feet. Um, I read online that a lot of people aren't happy with that. Pretty, un uh, yeah, unimpressive. Um, Let's see where we're shooting. We turn on the scope and then um, lock it into position by pulling the slide back. And then we are going to shoot. I don't want to damage anything, but it is nerf. So let's, uh, let's take out Captain America right there. And one, two, three, fire in the hole. Close enough. 
So you heard the, the whole thing when it fired. And there you go. Do this over, close it, and start vaporizing some uh, bad guys. So that's the operations on how it fires. So again, here is a nice uh, closer look. Pretty cool. I would, you know, of course it would be awesome if it didn't have the orange, but um, that's how it is. What can you, what can you do? Um, since I'm here, let's take a look at um, in how many uh, feet it is, since we only did uh, whatever was on the box. So we're going to measure it uh, pretty exact on how uh, long it would be. And let's see, it is about four feet, almost exactly four feet. Uh, let's make this straight. Yeah, almost about four feet. So not bad size for a rifle and um, kind of well done. I, I, I mean, it's a Nerf rifle. You got to keep that in mind. Um, a little pricey, I feel, but it's Star Wars, you know how that goes. Um, so yeah. So there you go. There is a closer look at um, the Mandalorian's nice uh, blaster rifle or uh, pulse rifle, if you will. Um, very cool. A little pricey for it being Nerf, but um, it's going to be a fun, uh, fun project to maybe uh if you're skilled enough maybe to paint it over um to mimic it like the movie or the the show or um keep it as is and just have it uh, displayed on your wall like a like an actual gun maybe with a helmet and um you know this thing has come in handy saving his life many of times isn't that right buddy he approves so i hope you enjoyed this review it is um, one of the many Star Wars stuff I have, so make sure you subscribe and check out all the other um, videos I have on the helmet, um, Baby Yoda, um, other collectibles like Marvel, DC, a lot of stuff from the 80s and 90s, like um, for example, Predator, Terminator, Ninja Turtles, all that good stuff. So as always, may the force be with you and stay collecting my friends.